Well, as much as you'll need the winter gear today, you'll also need the sunglasses as you head on out the door. Temperatures starting you off this morning are either in the upper 20s or in the low 30s. 30 right now in Worcester, it does feel like they're in the mid 20s. Same thing in Elyria, all the way up to parts of Cuyahoga County, over to Ashabula, feeling like the upper 20s. Regardless, it is definitely a chilly morning all across the Midwest, everywhere from here to Chicago to Buffalo, you name it. Chicago actually at 28, feeling like 28. Louisville, 38. The warmer air is a little bit farther to the south. Go figure this time of the year. It's where it would be found. Memphis currently at 53 degrees. So how does this all ring out as we play through the weekend? We've got a cold front just to our north and what this is doing is kind of leading to a little bit of a training effect of what's happened just with our winds and seeing some light snow showers and flurries across the area. I think we could see a little uptick in that as we head through the morning, especially through part of the snow belt. Everyone else, though, you don't really have a huge worry today as the clouds tug away and we see a little extra sunshine. It's going to be short lived thanks to this system just to uh, our immediate west and a little bit farther to the south. This comes tomorrow as this weak disturbance wants to shoot a little bit farther to the east. I think it's not only going to toss up our cloud cover as we go through your Sunday, but it also brings in the chance for our southern communities to see some extra snowfall tomorrow. Accumulation this weekend is not going to be crazy by any stretch of the imagination. We have to leave it to the end of the week to maybe see a little bit more of a chance to see accumulating snowfall, but I think it really starts as rain too. So we're still watching how the system is going to evolve. It is all the way out in the western half of the country right now, but let's focus on today because you're planning out your Saturday and into your Sunday. So in your National Zymert Albar, our forecast, we keep the clouds, we keep some flurries around, especially through the middle of the day too. So not a huge waiver in our temperatures from start to finish, but something else you'll notice is we start to toss away the cloud cover right around 4 or 5 p.m. So I think we'll actually have a decent sunset across northeast Ohio, clear skies overnight, but leading early tomorrow morning, we already see the increase of cloud cover overhead, a few spotty snow showers too, and then this wave of disturbance actually moves in as we head through the evening and then into the overnight as well. So I think we'll get brushed by a little snow. We'll keep an eye on to see any accumulation here out of things because every model wants to do a little little difference, but I think nonetheless we'll get brushed by it and things get warmer. So even if we do see accumulating snowfall, it'll be slim and then it's gone in the next couple of days because temperatures in your union home mortgage extended forecast are going to be in the 40s starting by Monday. We're close tomorrow and we are in the mid 40s by Wednesday, Thursday and that next system arrives by Friday. I think we start to see the development just to our immediate west to some heavy rainfall by about Thursday, Danielle. OK, but this upcoming week is looking great yeah, for January decent. standards. Okay, thank you, Peyton.